Hello, good man. My name is Kevin, and on today's video, I'm giving you a quick overnight bike packing idea and telling you how a local organization of people just like you and I is working to make the outdoors more accessible. I'm starting off today in Quarry Park and Nature Reserve in Waite Park, Minnesota, right near St. Cloud, Minnesota, and going to be riding the Glacial Lake State Trail into Sibley State Park and camping there for the night. Now, if you've seen my other bike packing videos, they've been in Wyoming, Colorado, Arizona, maybe some places that are too far for you to go, or the time commitment is too much, or money is too much, which is fine. And that's why today, what I'm going to show you is if you live in Minnesota, a trip that you can do really easily, probably on the bike that you have already, or if you don't live in Minnesota, giving you the framework of a trip that you can take and replicate in your exact state. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Thank you. Enjoy the walk. Howdy. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Someday, you'll be able to ride from St. Cloud to Sibley State Park, all on Paved Trail. There's still just a few sections left of construction, but the Parks and Trail Council, the sponsor of today's video, is doing a lot of work to acquire land to be able to help build the trails so we can ride and explore things like this without having to ride on county highways like I've been doing. That way you can just step out your door, be on a trail, and ride nice and safe to wherever you need to go. Someday. But I actually like gravel, so I don't mind this. Hopefully no longer going to be riding on highways or roads that don't have a bike path. From here on out, it should just be all bike trail all the way into Sibley State Park, except for one spot where the trail is still under development. But I'll call that out when we get there. However, it's just gonna be nice to be on paved path. Also, speaking about paved, look. Look at these tires, look how thin they are. I've never bike pack on my, what I consider my road tires. It's always been the thick gravel stuff because it's been on chunky things, but bike packing on trails so far, it's pretty nice. A gas station right there. That was a Dairy Queen back there too, so it's like you can just stop and enjoy whatever. Maybe we will at some point. I'm not going to eat all packaged foods. Maybe I'll stop in and have a nice lunch or something like that. All right, back to riding. Goodbye, Rokori Trail. Hello, Glacier Lake State Trail. Here's something else real cool that I've noticed. So I started the trail, right, the Rokori Trail, all the way over there. Where it started, I saw a pack of bikes, and now this is the second one that look all uniform. Then when I do some checking in, I see over there it says bike checkout procedures. So looks like these couple cities have a bunch of bike rentals right near the trail, which is awesome. Cause that means you don't even need a bike to come and be able to enjoy the trail. That is, that is some great A work right there. That's some great A work. Cause one of the big barriers of cycling is the ability to get a bike, which could be expensive if you don't get a good one, then you could be fixing it all the time. And then that, that impacts your desire to want to get on a bike if you know that it's broken all the time. But if you have some good bikes that are available to you all the time, look at that Richmond Blue Bike Program. Oh, free use of bikes. Oh, that is awesome. Way to go, Richmond. Way to go. That makes me really happy. If you're in Richmond, Minnesota or near there, come use the Blue Bike Program and get outside. This, that makes my day right there. That made my day. And there is where the trail ends. Glacial Lake State Trail ends in Roscoe, Minnesota but only temporarily, only temporarily. The plan is for it to continue going so that you can get all the way to New London easily. And then there's work already being done to connect all the way to Sibley State Park. But evidently there's some landowners making it a little hard, but work is still underway. So I'm gonna take a small detour around on probably some little small highways and then pick up the trail again in Painesville. This is why the work that's being done is important, right? Because this is what I have to ride on now in order to continue on to that park. 
Otherwise, there's a lot of people in St. Cloud. If this trail went all the way from St. Cloud into Sibley, that would be a super easy way. You just hop on a nice, safe trail and go all the way in and back. Hopefully by the time you come and do this, the trail is built and ready. There we go. There we go, this is much better. Beautiful little gravel road for a couple of miles. And then back to the trail. Yeah. Back on the trail, baby. Back on the trail. 10 miles to lunch. Let's get it. See if we can clear this. See if we help out a little bit, huh? Get these and get these and we help out a little bit. All right, all right, let's try it. Oh, that's a big tree. Well, that did, well, I opened up a little bit. Now you have at least a path to go through. Another one up front. Let's see if we can help with that one a little bit more. Skating on the bike. Skating on the bike. Damn, that's another big one. All right, in the good, deep position. Yeah, we did it. Take care. Oye, mira eso. Mira todo este paso que tenemos. Oye, este tipo es una bestia, ustedes saben. Este tipo es una bestia. Look at that. Man, I gotta start lifting. I'm breathing way too hard after that. I've just biked 40 something miles and not even breathing hard, but as soon as I start lifting like that, whoo! All right, back to lunch. Well, Glacier Lake State Trail, thank you very much. You've been fantastic. I'm excited to see you completely done. I am hopping off here now because I'm gonna go get some lunch in New London and it's just quicker to get off the trail. So 0.9 miles to lunch. All right, here we go. I love rolling through little main streets. I want a burger. I'm always in the mood for a burger. Just ask this guy. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a favorite burger place in town? Ooh. I'm looking for one. Well, thank you, Tim. I appreciate the help. Oh, hello. Oh. Here you are. Any extra plates and napkins? <gasps> no, but that looks great. I'm sure there are bikepacking purists rolling in their grave right now. <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> this is the best. Well, that was delicious. I've got some extra pizza, strapped it to my bike, but now I have to get going. We gotta get back to the park before stuff goes down. I wanna check some stuff out at the park too. But to Patty and Rick, let me know if Brenda was ever found. And thank you for the good conversation and the laughs.
<laughs> All right, this is where we go. So I've been riding these last few miles from New London on this relatively busy highway, but thanks to the Parks and Trail Council, check out what's coming. The Parks and Trails Council bought this 154 acre plot in the southeast corner of the park back in 2014. There was lots of cleanup to do of old buildings, tires, and large debris across the property, but with the help of amazing volunteers from the Sibley State Park Improvement Association, the Parks and Trail Council was able to clean up the land, remove the buildings, and begin the process of restoring the land to its native prairie state. They didn't stop there though. With the purchase of this land, they're working to secure a trail connection between Sibley State Park and the Glacial Lake State Trail that completely avoids the highway. I mean, look at this cool little underground tunnel you get to ride through. <laughs> this is gonna be vital for safely getting more people to experience all the benefits of outdoor recreation without having to walk or bike on a highway. Hello. How's it going? Great, enjoy your walk. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Okay, and here we are at Sibley State Park. Beautiful. <laughs> the trail came out right there. Here's Lakeview Campground. This is awesome. I'm really excited for this. Mama, no. Mama, no. Oh, yeah, the trail is almost done. Look at that, literally right up into the campsite. I've got a feeling I'm the only bike backer here, but. I don't care. 26, 27, 28. Here's home sweet home. Good evening, everyone. We're camp neighbors tonight. <laughs> All right, llegamos, llegamos. We're here at Sibley State Park. I'm at my campsite. I'm excited because there's a lot of stuff to check out here. So let's get it started. But first, we got to set up the tent. Perfect. Can't forget about the chair. All right, now that we got camp set up, let's check out all the cool things there are to do here at Sibley State Park. We've got this beautiful beach with sand, docks, and places to go rent boats to play on the lake. Enjoy a picnic in the Cedar Hill Picnic Shelter or on one of these tables with a nice view of the lake. You've got 16 miles of hiking and horse trails. Yes, I did say horse trails, and yes, there is a horse campsite at the end of this where you can hang up your horse, tie your horse. I am not going down there because horses terrify me. I don't like things that are bigger than me. All right, let's move on. We interrupt your regular scheduled program to bring you information about another project done by the Parks and Trails Council of Minnesota to bring you some more land that's going to then lead to future enjoyment outdoors. The Parks and Trails Council purchased the last piece of the puzzle around Lake 21 in 2017 after years of back and forth. When the land finally did come up for sale, Sibley State Park didn't have the funds to pay for it, so the Parks and Trails Council stepped in to help. They purchased the 15.8 acre property that bordered the northern portion of Lake 21, removed three buildings, a few decrepit structures, and are working to restore the land to its native state. This was the last piece of land needed to fully incorporate the lake into the park and protect the shoreline from any future development. You also have a beautiful campground. I haven't been to the other one, Oak, Oak something, but this one, Lake View, literally, you can see the lake right there. And as the sun was going down, it was beautiful, beautiful. But there's plenty of people, electricity, water, bathrooms, showers, everything you need here at a campground. You've also got Mount Tom, which gives you this super cool view of the entire Sibley State Park. This isn't an activity, but it is a fun little fact that all of these buildings that you see, especially around Lakeview Campground, made of stone and wood, were made by World War I veterans between 1935 and 1938. And they came, bro chipped down all these stones, and it was actually helpful for them, especially while they were struggling with PTS. So there it is. I hope it gave you some good ideas of what you can do on a simple bike packing trip close to your house and 
highlighted some of the amazing work that organizations all around us do to help us get outside. So major thank you to all of you who are subscribed. I appreciate you helping this community grow. Thank you to those of you who are on Patreon because you are supporting the growth of me and this entire community. And today, special shout out to Parks and Trails Council in Minnesota for all the work that you've done to help me get outside, to help everyone else around me get outside, and for supporting this video. So, hasta la próxima, mi gente. Nos vemos.